Tiger, this year um, marks the the year that Charlie Sifford would have turned 100. Mm -hmm. um, the tournament's always had a long-standing history of uh, supporting diversity in the game, and this week they're honouring Charlie with significant initiatives such as the special exemption, of course, and uh, the 100 designation on the first hole. Um, why are these in initiatives important to you? Well, Charlie was was a person, he was, he was a pioneer. I mean, he was the person that... Um, he broke down the Caucasian clause that was part of the part of the tour. Uh, he, I, I think that he should have been the first person to ever play in the Masters, but unfortunately that didn't happen after his win here in the Los Angeles area over at Ranger Park. Uh, Charlie was the the grandfather I never had. You know, he was he was he, to me he was Grandpa Charlie. You know, I see him at Firestone every year and. Um, I was telling Aaron over here that I would get these, you know, yellow teletext in my, in my locker every time I had a chance to win a tournament. And uh, it, I'll summarize it by saying, "Go out and win." It, it wasn't. <laughs> you guys know Charlie. It wasn't exactly in those words, but that was a summary of it. Uh, but but you know, Grandpa Charlie was fantastic, and it was it was great to have uh, President Obama award him the. Um, uh, the Medal of Freedom uh, before he passed, and uh, you know, I I named my son after Charlie. He meant that much to my, me and, and my family. My dad would never have <clears throat> would never have been able to play the game of golf. He would never have taken it up if uh, Charlie hadn't had broken down the, down the Caucasian clause. So it, it's very important for us to honor what he is he has done, has meant um, to this great game of golf. Uh, to have Aaron here be a, be a part of it, um, you know, he'll talk here in a little bit. And you know, what what he is, what he's doing, what he's going through, um, for him to be part of here at Riviera. Um, I remember, <laughs> I just asked him, "What are you doing on the first hole?" He said, "I'm going to pipe a two iron right down there and hit on the green." I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's what I just think too." Um, uh, I, I remember when I hit my first tee shot there, I hit my little my little three wood out there. You know, I, I looked like the size of a three wood, uh, but it was it was neat to to be a part of that first tee shot. I mean, you look back at that tee shot. Okay, every great champion has basically uh, from the 40s on has, has had hit that tee shot. You know, you see photos of Hogan and Nelson and and you know everyone after that, subsequent after that all hit that tee shot, and you can't lengthen that tee shot. It's not going anywhere. The clubhouse is the same spot, the same road, the same car path, same everything. Um, it's an, sorry, an iconic tee shot, and it's one that uh, uh, Aaron will always remember, and then us having the flag um, have a 100 on it uh, means that much more because of where, what, what Charlie has meant to this event, um, to me, and to the, the great game of golf.